Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to verify Green's theorem. The Green's theorem statement is integral over c u dx plus v dy equal to double integral over the region r dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into dx dy. And from the given question, we have u and v. Let's take it separately. u equal to x minus 2y and v equal to x. From this, we can find dou u by dou y, which is minus 2, and dou v by dou x, which is 1. And the boundary is x square plus y square equal to 1, which is a circle with the center origin and radius 1 and the parametric form of the circle is x is equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta since r is 1 here we get x is equal to cos theta and y equal to sin theta from this dx is minus sin theta d theta and dy is cos theta d theta. Let's take a small diagram. We have horizontal and vertical axis and we have a circle and its radius is 1 and center is origin. So the region under consideration is this full circle and we are going to use a parametric form. So the radius r is here which is 1 and this r varies from 0 to 2 pi. This is 0, this is pi by 2, this is pi and this is 3 pi by 2 and in this place it is 0 or 2 pi. So when we take the left hand side of the Green's theorem, we have integral over c. Here it is integral from 0 to 2 pi and we have u dx that is x minus 2y dx but x is cos theta. So cos theta minus 2 sin theta into dx is minus sin theta d theta and the next one is plus x dy plus x is cos theta into dy is cos theta d theta. So we take cos theta d theta. Now we take this as integral 0 to 2 pi. When I multiply minus sin theta with this, we get minus sin theta cos theta d theta. When I multiply minus sin theta with the second term, we become plus 2 integral sin square theta d theta 0 to 2 pi. And the last term is cos square theta d theta. Now we follow the integration. Here let's take t is equal to sin theta and dt is equal to cos theta d theta. When I substitute this, this becomes minus t dt integral. Integral and we are not going to put the limit now. After integration we will substitute. And here there is a formula that is for sin square theta it is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta. This we have to integrate and this is 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta. And here we use the same limit 0 to 2 pi but the first one we give substitution. So we are not using any limit. This integration is minus t square by 2 and here we can cancel this and this part is theta and this integration is minus sin 2 theta by 2 and limit is from 0 to 2 pi and here it is 1 by 2 theta and this integration plus sin 2 theta by 2 
sorry y2 is only for this and limit is from 0 to 2 pi and in the first one we have to replace sin theta in place of t and limit is from 0 to 2 pi here second one we have to when you substitute the upper limit we get 2 pi and sin 2 into 2 pi sin 4 pi which is 0 and when I put the lower limit both are 0 here it is half in the same way when I substitute 2 pi we get 2 pi plus 0 and lower limit everything is 0 so finally the first part when I substitute 2 pi for sin theta it is 0 and lower limit is also 0 so the entire term is 0 so here we get 2 pi and here it is half of 2 pi which is pi so finally this is 3 pi now coming to the right hand side of the Green's theorem so in RHS we have double integral over the region R and dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into dx dy so dou v by dou x is 1 and dou u by dou y is minus 2. So double integral over the region R this is 1 minus of minus 2 plus 2 into dx dy. So from this we can take 3 outside and have double integral over the region R dx dy. This represents the area of the circle and by using the formula we get 3 into pi r square where r is 1 so finally we get 3 pi and LHS RHS are same LHS equal to RHS hence Green's theorem is verified.